and welcome back to the channel and today you're going to join me on a permission visit to Withcall railway station and Withcall tunnel now both the tunnel and the station were on the Louth to Bardney line um, I have done a previous video on Bennyworth tunnel which was further down that way uh, which was the shorter tunnel this one is the longer tunnel so today I'm gonna to have a look around the station show you a few pictures uh, of what it used to look like and how it used to operate and we're gonna have a look at the condition inside the tunnel and see what's in there now we have been given a, a permission visit so it is a private property so please at no point attempt to uh, explore this tunnel without any of the owner's permission the great northern railway planned and built a branch line from Bardney to Louth in stages Withcall Station was the second station west of this line. Passenger services ended on the 5th of November 1951. Goods traffic shut on 17th of December 1956. In the video, we're going to have a little look around the remains of the station. And a mile away was the 971 yard Withcall Tunnel. So I'll see you soon on the Explore. So as you can see, we're actually at the old station and they've actually, the owners have actually left a, um, a plaque up uh, to commemorate the history of the railway station. So you can see the platform is still visible just here as it heads along towards Bardney. And just down here, and there's a little bit of information about it. So it opened the Great Northern Railway uh, with coal, um, which opened in 1876 and it closed in 1956. Now you can see the remainder of the platforms look like they're built out of old blue engineering brick. Just have a look down here. Is it 13, 18, So this is Withcall Station. Now it was um, for one track only, as you can see. Only one train could have got down here. So you can see the remains of the platform, as I've just mentioned. Now, just around here, you'll have seen in some pictures that there would have been some old waiting rooms. Now, the owner told me that they demolished them themselves not too uh, long ago. The platform heads all the way down here. So just giving you a little look. You can just see the platform remains. It's nice that you can actually see remains of railway stations and platforms, especially when the uh, station, uh, well, the current station owners, you know, they keep the history behind, which is really good. And it's just located in a short cutting. You can see the trap bed heads along this way. So just having a look here, I think this was partially the remains of the waiting room. Can you see it is definitely old railway brick. So just back that way is Louth. We're going to head this way towards Withcall Tunnel. So as you can see, the owners kindly opened the gate for us so we can walk in. So guys, please, if you are watching this video and you are wanting to explore this tunnel, please get in touch with the owner to book a permission visit. Do not trespass. So just as I'm on my way to the tunnel, um, just come across this little memorial here. So it says, uh, in honour and memory of the air crew, I'll let you guys read it because I'll start stumbling. Well, it looks like, was this potentially the site of a plane crash? I'm not sure.
I'm gonna say we're smack bang in the middle of, of nowhere, but the scenery around here is absolutely brilliant in East Lincolnshire. All you can hear are the birds singing. Anyhow, we're gonna head along the trap bed now and we're gonna to come to Withcall Tunnel. So I nearly missed it, but as I was just walking down, I could found this little railway relic here. It looks like it could have been potentially a bolt pin for the tr for the track. I'm not exactly 100%, but I think that's what it looks like, but it's embedded into the floor. It's nice to see that. Found another little railway relic there, and I think there's another one there too. Just embedded into the soil. Would have been there about, been there about 50, 60 years. So I've been walking for about a mile actually, and um, ahead there is the tunnel portal of uh, with Call Tunnel. You can just see it's very dense here as you make the approach to the tunnel. And the, the cutting's not very deep, and it's there's only one side really. There's a bit of farmland up there. I'm looking at the tunnel structure, the, the tunnel portal. It's a bit like Bennyworth. Can you see the portal up there? Uh, the, sorry, not the portal, the uh, cutting. So I'm at the eastern end of Wickhall Tunnel. Uh, you can see the portal here. Pretty much similar to Bennyworth. Um, now, I believe it was dug through limestone and chalk. So we've got 971 yards that we're going to go and explore in here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a look in there, look at the condition of the tunnel, and we'll get some nice shots of it inside. Now, I believe it's out of bat season, so this tunnel is actually home to bats, um, but it's not bat season at the moment, so I'm sure we're going to see some bat boxes or something in here. Now, I always like to uh, document these when I see them, so this will be the Department for Transport and... I'm assuming that means Lauf to Badney. So we're into the tunnel now. And you've got 90, 971 yards to explore. So just as we walk in, you can see there's, well, I think these are bat boxes. Now, like I said before, it's not bat season. So um, well, I think these are built for bats. Now, just having a look. As I said, the tunnel was buried through limestone and chalk, so you can't see the uh, the other end. Now, I believe the reason why you can't see it is because uh, the tunnel does actually have a gradient as it adds to the uh, the portal. We can see here all the calcite deposits, and there's absolutely loads of it. You can just see all the calcite deposits here. And up there you can see the uh, stalactites. It's not much, but there is some, and a little bit of soot. So looking back that way is the portal we've just entered. And it is pretty cold in here, because it's quite a warm day today, but it really is quite chilly in here, because there's no refuges, and I don't think there's any air shafts as well. Just here you've got a cable anchor. I think there's quite a few of them that go down the tunnel. In fact, yeah, they, uh, there's quite a row of them. That heads all the way down. Now for a tunnel so long, you're quite surprised in the tunnel not having any refuge holes. But you can just see it's absolutely pure darkness as you walk down. You can see the shape of the arch. It's got that like uh, jagged shape at the top of like Bennyworth did. And it looks like the inside's like red brick. In many tunnels, you do see a lot of things like this. So, um, and now I'm struggling to kind of put my finger on what they are, because obviously there's no refuges, but were these potentially like workers marks or were just a marker? Um, to show some where something was, I'm not sure. Leave a comment. I'm just having a little look back there, you can see the portal again. Let's head down and see what we can see further down.
it is absolutely just cold, quiet, and you can just hear slight little, well, you're echoing, and it's a bit of damp. You can hear little bits of water trickling. More um, stalactites up there. And there's plenty of ballast still left down on the ground. Absolutely masses of ballast in this one. I can just see a small light at the end of the tunnel just down there. Just a small light and I think that's the door of the other portal. And I don't think you guys can see it, but I certainly can. You can just see, it's a bit similar to the other portal. So potentially, I've just found out that these are potentially yard markers. So we are about 40 yards into the tunnel. So I think, yeah, these are yard markers. So, sorry. I think that's what they are. Got more brackets going down here. And getting deeper into the tunnel, I think. Like I say, you can see the incline in the tunnel. Now, I've read something about the steam trains when they were operating actually did struggle to navigate through the tunnel at times um, due to the incline of the tunnel. And where I'm looking now, you can actually see it actually peers downwards, which is pretty strange. Saying that though, this tunnel is in really, really good condition and apparently it's had no um, kind of maintenance work done to it over the last 50, 60 years. Absolutely brilliant structure, this one. You see a moved, uh, oh no, it's not. I thought it was uh, just a little bit of wood that's stuck in there. So, another uh, marker there. A little bit more um, calcite deposit. We had a little further down the tunnel, you can just see a little bit of light. But you can see that dip, and you can see how the trains would have struggled to navigate through. It's brilliant. I mean, surprisingly, I mean, me being me, I was like, would you even uh, consider building a tunnel like this if they were going to struggle like that? But this is in absolutely brilliant condition. See, it's not been touched for so many decades. And it looks like here we may have a um, part of an old railway sleeper. Is it a railway sleeper? Or part of an old post that's been left in? I think it might be an old sleeper that's um, been mangled. So we're heading towards more or less the center of the tunnel. Probably not so much center yet, but it is starting to get a little bit more misty now. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful as the air might start to get a bit funny. Like I said, there's no shafts in here. Nothing to ventilate the tunnel. I think the uh, air just comes through the portal. We can see here yeah, the mist is actually starting to uh, grow over now. So I've got another yard marker there and it's pretty much just cable brackets that uh, go all the way down the tunnel you can see more here ah we've got a railway sleeper another railway sleeper here like a proper one you can still see it's got the pin or actually is it a fence post I think it's a fence post if I'm wrong yeah it's a fence post you can still see it's got the old uh, pins in. So this is probably the brightest part of the tunnel we've seen. Um, not sure if that's like some marking or anything or someone's just been here and put that there. Oh, I've just been dripped on there. But as we uh, head, look, look back there, if I just take a little bend down, you can see how the gradient steeps going towards the portal. So we've just come across this. Now, oh, it, it, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant find in here. So, still got some old rusted wheels. And is it a pulling mechanism or something? I'm not exactly sure if you leave a comment, but that is an absolutely brilliant find. You can see how old it is. It's absolutely just rusted to, wow. So what do we have? We have, like a, a broken chain there, obviously the wheel. So I wonder if it, it did, it was some pulling mechanism of something. I'm just trying to work out what it was for. 
Now, obviously, you railway enthusiasts will know. And just spit it to like a, a wooden beam. Well, that's a brilliant find. Come across another concrete post. It looks to have snapped. And you can see like a little number three. I'm not sure. I think it was probably marked as a number of a post. But you can see the uh, little damage that it's got. You can see it's been snapped in half. You can see like the old, uh, some metal going through, I think. Come across this. Um, looks like some potential uh, pipe. Um, maybe a drainage channel or something. I'm not sure. There's nothing else around here that shows it was. So let's just have a little closer look. You can't really see anything in there. Sorry, that was bad. It's getting slightly damp in the tunnel now. Um, see a lot of soot here. Obviously, this soot will have been left by the trains as the uh, tunnel and the line operated. But we've just come across this thing here. Um, now, it's made of wood and it looks like it could have been a ladder, but I don't think it was. I think it's something that was part of the tunnel construction. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like it could have been a ladder. More stalactites as we move along the tunnel. And like I said, there's absolutely no signs of any structural collapses in here. It looks perfectly uh, in fine condition. No sign of anything, any collapses or anything, which is good. Usually see, I've started to see a lot of movement in some tunnels that I've explored recently. We've got more cable brackets going along. It feels like we're never going to get to the end. I said oh, I've just got dripped on. Well, for me, I like the, the uh, with these um, on the, these tunnels on the uh, Laugh to Barney line, the uh, Bennyworth tunnel, which was in this, the same shape, but the slightly shorter one. I think it was 557 yards. Now this tunnel did actually intend to be 803 yards, I believe, but they decided to uh, reroute the line a little bit which meant that the tunnel had to be constructed a little longer. So it was uh, constructed at 971 yards. So just a little look back now. Look how the, uh, that gradient looks in the tunnel. So the train's going up. Could see why it would have been a challenge in uh, navigation through. So just to point out those little holes that I saw back there, I think they were they, had, they would have had pipes in like this. So I've just come across this little drainage channel here. So see all this uh, build up. You can just see how it's uh, draining out the water. And it starts to sound a little bit more damp further on, down towards the other portal. So let's see what we'll come across. See down here. So some more drainage uh, channel here. Looks a bit like the uh, Sharon Spring uh, at Barnsdale Tunnel. Just look at that. Look at this. There's a right build up here. Um, Carl's side deposit. Um, that is an absolutely, oh, look at that. That is disgusting. See how the water's running down the brick. I'm not even gonna go and touch it. And it's just spreads all the way onto the ground. I mean, it looks funny, it looks nice, but uh, I'm not going over there. And it kind of runs a fair way down the tunnel on both sides. That and again, just another look back, and you can see the uh, the gradient. So, we're getting to the end of the tunnel now. Look at this, we've uh, it's getting a lot more damp. 
be careful with our foot in at the moment, but it's like natural tunnel art. Better than normal graffiti, isn't it? I mean, it looks good, but it also looks disgusting at the same time. Work that one out. You can see just here, we're gonna have to be really careful. I'm only wearing trainers today. I normally wear wellies, but probably the worst part of the tunnel that we've come across. Well, we're getting to the, uh, the much boggier section of the tunnel now. It's very echoey. It's getting really wet. Um, is it a pan? I've been cooking. Not something that I'd expected to uh, come across. It's not bang in the middle of nowhere where no one really comes in. And I've just come across these old relics now. That looks like an old metal pipe. And we've got some more fence posts. So uh, it's like one of these pipes that have been ripped out the side. So if you look at this, jeez. That's where I should have brought the wellies in. Got another pipe there. Starting to get a little bit wet in the feet now. Yeah, it's even more damp at this side now. It's getting worse, so I'm getting gripped on. My feet are getting absolutely soaked. I was not expecting this at all. But I can't really say I'm disappointed. I like this tunnel. It does look like it gets drier. You can see the other portal come in. And just endless, endless puddles that are uh, just appearing out of nowhere in the tunnel. It's even getting worse now. I thought it was going to get drier, but just look at that. Water coming through the holes and the pipes. It's up there as well. Absolutely brilliant. And I'll tell you something I like about this tunnel is it, the uh, natural artwork in here. I'll call it artwork because it looks quite good. Looking back at the other portal there. You can see how close we're getting to the uh, other portal now. So we're uh, back to dry land now. Uh, we've just got out of that little uh, storm that we was in. And um, we're getting closer to the other portal. You can still hear water trickling now. Look at that. Looks like part of the, um, is it a drain? That's potential uh, blocked up or see a little bit of damage on it but it's not part of the structure. It's that little dip in the ground here so you have to be careful. And the sections of the tunnel are quite dry but there's also some wet sections so we keep walking from wet to dry. Now these uh, few loose bricks coming out of nuts somewhere but I'm not sure exactly where they're coming from because you can't really see any structural damage. So I wonder if these was brought in. But we're heading towards the uh, other portal now. So I believe that was where, so if we're heading back this way, this is heading towards the west. So Bennyworth Tunnel would have been slightly beyond this one. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. That there, it's dripping, absolutely dripping. You never know what to expect now. I'm coming to the end now. And just a little shot, you can see the gradient, you can see just a little water trickling down. You can see how much that gradient goes up and into the west. So we've uh, headed to the western portal and we've found the bricked up entrance and it looks like the, the door's been put there and it's been um, some bricks blocking the door on the other side but just having a look through the little holes there it looks like you can see the, the brick has been um, built further into the tunnel so there's a bit of a section of the tunnel still on the outside that you can walk into but then as with the eastern portal the uh, tunnel's not bricked up actually on the portal, it's further in. 
So we've uh, completed the full 971 yards. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back I'll give you a little bit of footage and a little walk through the tunnel as we head out. Oh, so I've just completed full 971 yards in that tunnel. And um, yeah, pretty, really, it's a really good tunnel, that one to explore. And certainly the best conditioned tunnel that I've been in. Now, as you walk into the tunnel, it's quite, it's got a lot of dry spots. As you get further in, it gets more damp. Um, and as you get further down towards the other portal, as you look back, you can see the incline that the uh, the trains would have had to do when the uh, the line was operating. But yeah, the uh, the tunnel is is in really good condition. Uh, there's small sections where it gets really damp, and there's a lot of build up of um, you know calcite deposits and stuff like that. But this is probably my favourite structure, um, and in terms of what I've, I've explored, uh, the obviously you can't get out of the other side, and um, for pretty much the uh, whole journey of the tunnel. You can't really see the other portal because of the dip uh, from the incline as it comes this way. So guys, thank you very much for watching this um, and I'll see you next time for another Explore. Take care.